my student in this video you'll be guided to know how to design a proper experimental method to determine the osmolarity of potato tuber that the school lab will provide okay let's start so first of all you have to understand what is osmolarity from its name you can see that it has something to do or related to osmosis yes right in osmosis we talk about water movement because of different solute concentration now what is osmolarity by definition osmolarity talking about number of moles of solute particles in a unit volume of solution so for example i'm talking about how many mole of oxygen in one liter of a solution so maybe you ask me sorry bu number of moles what is mole so mole is a unit that measure the amount of a substance atom or molecule so for example oh hold on one mole is counted as 6.022 and so one times by 10 to the power of 23 atoms or molecule so basically it's a large number of atoms or molecule so for example if i say in one beaker i have one mole of iron powder ferrum ferrum is iron it means that in this beaker i have as much as or as many as 6.022 and so on times 10 to the power of 23 atoms of iron so the illustration like this so imagine there are 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms of this that's a lot right now what if i have oxygen oxygen is a molecule o2 now if i say in this bottle i have one mole of o2 it means that two times 6.022 times by 10 to the power of 23 why because oxygen as you can see from this picture is made of one atom and two so two atoms so the o2 that is in one mole means that the first mole belongs to the first oxygen the other mole belongs to the second oxygen is it as it okay now what if i have one mole of nacl nacl is the table salt so for example in this beaker i have nacl one mole again the calculation of the osmolarity is for the mole is 2 times 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23 so as you can see from here in this illustration one and acl consists of two atoms so when i talk about one mole of an acl the first mole come from the na atoms and the second mole come from the cl minus atom i hope you understand so now let's combine the concept of mole and its volume to get the concentration unit. All right. So again, as I said in the previous uh, slide, the volume that we use usually in form of liter. All right. One liter equals to 1000 milliliter. All right. Now, how to express the concentration using mole and volume? Easy. The expression of the concentration comes from mole divided by liter. So if you, uh, if you combine them together, you will get molar. So molar equals with how many moles do you have divided by how many liters the volume is. So for example, in this case, for example, I have two moles of sodium chloride, NaCl, two mole. And then this is two liters of water so i have this so the molarity of this solution is one molar so what do you have to find out the what the, the experiment asks you to find out the osmolarity or the concentration of solute inside a given potato tuber yes the ib doesn't say that it has to be potato but well i choose potato because it is something common so again don't be afraid the school will provide the potato for you your job is to find out what is the osmolarity of the cytoplasm in the potato tuber now the question is how well that's what you have to find out 
but I will give you some clue. Remember isotonic, hypotonic, and hypertonic? So, in isotonic, if you put a tissue or a cell, there will be no change in the cell because the net flow of water is just the same. However, if a cell or a tissue is immersed in hypertonic solution, the water will come out. As the result, the potato, the tuber, will lose its mass. Now, on the other hand, hypotonic solution, which means very, very pure, like pure water is a very, very low, the concentration is zero because there is nothing uh, dissolved here. Now, if the potato tuber or the cell immerse in hypotonic solution, right, the water will rush into the cell or the tissue. At the end of the immersion, the mass of the potato tuber or the cell will increase. Do you got a clue? Again, isotonic, no mass change. Hypertonic, mass loss. In hypotonic, mass will be gain. Do you get any idea how to find out, like a detective, to find out the osmolarity of the potato tuber? Okay, to help you further, I have provided you with a diagram as the result of the experiment that has been done in the past to determine the, concentra the, yeah, the concentration of cytoplasm or osmolarity of the potato tuber. So as you, uh, if you can see in this diagram, the potato is immersed in many different concentrations, all right, molar, sugar molar, molarity. So it starts from 0 molar, 2 molar, up to 8 molar. And the other axis talking about change in potato, uh, potato cell mass, the percentage of change. If the percentage is positive, it means that the mass is gained. If 0, it means that there is no mass change. If it is negative, it means that the mass is lost. Okay? And then the diagram will look like this. So, the one that is immersed in 0, the mass change is about positive 15% mass gain. And then in 2, right, in 2 concentration of molarity, it has about negative 5. So, the mass starts to lose and so on and so forth all right so again what is the smallity i will not give you the answer but i just give you a clue okay hopefully you got this let's see tomorrow let's discuss about it now again uh, in designing an experiment you must have these elements like what happened in grade 10 in quarter 4 you have learned about this for returning student in sph a design must have research question hypothesis variables tools, materials, and procedures or step of work games. Now, we will talk about this one by one tomorrow while you are start to planning your method or design of experiment. All right? Thank you so much for your time. Let's see tomorrow what you can do for the design of your experiment. Bye.